here we go for the last mission of the umbrella side of Operation Raccoon City. End of the line. Leon S. Kennedy, still can't get used to that, Leon, is protecting Sherry Birkin who holds the key to the G-Virus antigen. The government is sending reinforcements to help them. If Wolfpack can't secure the girl and kill Leon, Umbrella won't be so forgiving this time. I'm pretty sure she doesn't hold the key to the antigen. I'm pretty sure she has the the retrovirus devil. And Umbrella won't be so forgiving. I don't really think I care at this point. Our commander has been nothing but a colossal jackass the whole time. Blames us for things beyond our control. Uh, uh, I do remember the end boss fight of this is Leon holed up at the train yard and we've got to defeat him in a gunfight. Before I started recording, I looked through the weaponry and came very close to buying a semi-auto rifle. I probably should have already, or I probably should have gotten it for this, but hopefully it'll be one of those chests lying around. Trust them. We need a backup plan. I wonder what. Um, uh, Bertha, you, you okay? Okay. <laughs> She's just standing in tires. Uh, I'm gonna look around for a second. It's been a while since I've been here. Decision rifle, what kind of no. Fire's not fun, is it? If it had more than 25 rounds, I'd go for it. I'm just still trying to figure out. Oh, come on this? now. Feels like a Okay, so green earth will prolong my second state. I didn't realize Back off, that. Kill them. Government forces. Thank you. Oh. That was pretty awesome. Oh, the virus is oh. Wrong target. I'm out. That's what the spit does. Sorry, Martha. Spitting is how they affect us. Stay alert. Be honest, throughout the game I've been trying to figure out exactly what the spitting did other than Here they come. <laughs> other than mess up your field of view. Now I realize that's how I've been getting infected all along. Eh, you know, the more you know. Pretty sure I'm gonna run up on Spec Ops any time now. <coughs> yep. <coughs> Can I line up a shot on another one? Oh, poop. Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, just a second. I use a smart television for my primary gaming monitor and it just decided to attempt sleeping mode. Doesn't do it when I've got everything straight wired, but I think there's just something about the signal going through the capture. It kind of throws off how it functions. got me really paranoid that I'm just sneaking through here, knowing full well there's spec ops around. Yep. There he is. You badly. Bullets. Okay, got them cleared. Oh no. Spec ops, kill them. Ammo gonna be a real problem here. They got him. Alright, who am I infected here? Alright, Lupo, we'll drop you. Okay. Four eyes. Sorry, four eyes are kind of my favorite. Come on, you're good now. Stay oh, alert. Alright, uh, Lupo, come on. Come on, you're good now. Stay alert. Grenade launcher. This is probably futile, but I might. Yeah. I think I did get him. Okay. It's kind of crazy to think that it's very likely just my play style, but the Samurai Edge it feels Shortcut. more like a come on feels more like a primary weapon than a than a side weapon to me. But like I said, that's probably just entirely my personal game style. I prefer I prefer pistols in games. I prefer pistols in real life. Uh, I don't carry it often, but I prefer to shoot uh, 1911 government 45 mama. Uh, mama is a very high quality clone of a Colt. Uh, only real difference is Colt has a finishing process on the on the components that help them last a lot longer without degradation whereas the llama doesn't have that proprietary process so you have to clean it and oh shotgun maybe a second militia right now yeah what the what is it militia AK-47. Okay, give me my Ravager. Uh, uh. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, so the the gun that I have it does require me to take care of it more often, which I don't see that as a negative. 
when you when you own a firearm, regardless of what someone says, <coughs> it's it's a privilege, and that privilege is a heavy responsibility. <coughs> Owning something and using something that can inflict grievous harm or death on another person. Uh, that's that's not a right by any means of the imagination. But that is a privilege. So you have to be responsible for that sort of thing. So if you have a if you have a, we a firearm, respect it. If you're thinking about getting one, do your research. Look into what you're getting. Learn about muzzle velocities, recoil, uh, ricochet. Most important nice. thing, I would say, when you possess a firearm, is not trigger discipline. Trigger discipline is instead incredibly important, but I put it at second. For me, the most important thing for owning a firearm is situational awareness. You don't. You have to make. You have to be aware of not only what's in your immediate vicinity, what you can see with your eyes, you have to be aware of what's outside of your field of view. You have to be aware of what angles a potential misfire could recoil to. It's a lot, it's a lot. There's another! fire! <clears throat> well, I just got, here. um... Open fire. That was kind She's of a deep grenade shot. launcher. That really hurt. Okay, yeah, there's, there's a lot to it that you, you really spec ops. You really need to pay attention to when it comes to owning a firearm. Get out of the way! But you know, if you're going to use it responsibly, you don't mind a licensing, you don't mind potentially lowering the effectiveness of the, of the firearm. Uh, like the California Code. So, some, um, some of their laws require heavy modifications a gun legal to all operate. I'm not even sure if they can carry them publicly, but you know, if you have respect for a gun as a tool, not as a weapon, it is a tool. Guns are innocent. They do not kill. Mine has never killed anyone and it sits in a drawer all by itself. It's it's the user of that tool that kills. A gun is no more monstrous than a fork or a knife. Both things we consider valuable tools, but in the wrong hands they can be tremendously grievous weapons to inflict harm. Getting a license wasn't really much. Uh, getting uh, going, getting fresh fingerprints taken uh, at my local uh, police force. I think I went county. I don't believe it was the city. I believe it was county of my residence. Please, Claire, no. Lufo, don't run into mine. I uh, get my fingerprints taken with him. That's, I mean, that's no biggie. I'm pretty sure everyone's, everyone's fine giving a fingerprint to, or a thumbprint to get their Take care of the other driver's license. So. He's gotta be in here somewhere. 
if you have a problem giving a giving a friend to carry a firearm, then right there's indicator one that you don't need a firearm. If you uh, don't have a good perspective on things. And I want to say it was, it, it cost some money, I think maybe $60 for the licensing fee, which, I mean, $60 for some people, many people, that, that's, that's a pretty decent chunk of change just to drop at one time, but at the same time, if you have if you have the money to buy a firearm, then you you got sixty dollars. That's our target. Stop moving. Oh, I think right there, I noticed. Uh, Kill anyone not with us. I noticed part of our non-canonicity with this game. Leon was not, uh, Leon doesn't have a bandage put on by Ava, or he was shot by Annette Harkin. And I'm, I am somewhat doubtful that this is the Leon. The biggest hero of the franchise simply because, well, at the moment he appears to be worse at this game than I am. Right. I'm going to cloak and see if I can force the check. More spec ops are moving in on your position. They're here to evacuate those survivors. Don't let them interfere. Oh my. Get away from it! One grenade! One grenade! <laughs> That could have went very badly. I'm reloading! Thank goodness for the cloak. Leon appears to be retreating. Alright. I was actually just about to say, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it doesn't seem to be a plug for a switch panel to be there at a train station. I just don't think they're typically buried. Uh, okay, so I was curious. I didn't know if I could force Leon to move. Now that I have. Got something special in store for you. Here's my message. Bye. I just double dragoned you. Where's the little girl? Claire! Take Sherry! Get out of here! Now why is this cutscene? Leon, different? no! Bring that Burke and go over here, or we'll take our time with this cop. Go! This <laughs> This cutscene has Don't full volume. Him. All right, we're coming. Leads me to believe up. that the other cutscenes in the game are why are you doing pre this? Pre-rendered for umbrella money. <coughs> What's in it for you, huh? Well, we're gonna save you because our commander's a douche, sir. But anyway, most cutscenes get so quiet the way I. Altered my sound settings so I don't get drowned out. Leads me to believe that the other cutscenes are pre rendered and function as the audio functions as music. Whereas this, this cutscene we just saw, I'd be yeah. I'd be willing to believe it was using an in-game model. And... <laughs> it 
seriously look like I just hit him with a pie. Anyway, uh, I got sidetracked. We have to go. Either kill an umbrella doesn't need us anymore. On your feet. Get over there. Move. Delta team, what's your status? The targets have been apprehended. Eliminate them and bring us the girl. We can do that. But first, we need to renegotiate our deal. What are you talking about? You left us for dead, fighting your B.O.W.s. We want triple the original amount, and an evac chopper sent to our location immediately. You must be out of your mind. We're not negotiating with you. Finish your mission. Yourself. Consider our contract with Umbrella. Terminated. Then you can die along with Raccoon City. Thank you.